Well, boys, we're back. We uh, got ourselves a little bit of rain. So uh, we're back at Pathmaker Heights. We're gonna run some more new lines that uh, we missed out on last time. So uh, stay tuned. We got some fancy cars. And we uh, also have uh, Kevin and Jimmer coming down from Team No Ziggies. So uh, let's get to it. Oh man, that's terrifyingly steep, terrifyingly far up there. <laughs> The fact that you can even get that far is pretty mind blowing. <laughs> Without even breaking. Jim doesn't even drive it and he can roll. <laughs> Jim's shaking his head up there. He broke something in the rear end. Yeah, that's a line. Oh, getting greedy. Those traps are right in their prime right there. I had to redeem myself. We're back at the uh, heights with the fancy cars. Trev's unloading his buggy. We got uh, Spencer in the uh, rock lizard. And we got Steve Cobb. So it's been almost two months since we were out here. You can see we've had some rain and had uh, washed the dust off. So uh, Spencer is gonna try to get greedy. This is where uh, Trev Roll, last time we were here, sheared his cage off. These are uh, these are real big climbs though. Remember, that's a buggy on 43 inch tires. So uh, that's a big car and that's a big climb. This is first hits of the day, Sunday for the boys. And uh, of course we gotta start with the hardest stuff possible. We've got uh, Kevin, and uh, Jimmer showing up in the janky and the tipsy. And uh, <laughs> Spencer's talking about turning around at the top and coming back down the moss here because he wants to scrape it clear so that we can uh, do it at a later date. Oh, it's terrifying. So last time I saw Steve Cobb, we were in Nachi's together. He, uh, this is, uh, I like to call it the Build-A-Bomber. That's a bomber chassis. It's got portable axles. Last time he was running different tires. These are uh, tires off his Jeep, but they're a bit better suited for what we're doing here. But uh, that thing, these are the middle Midnight Metalworks TKs. It's a uh, 4.3, the LS motor. I can't remember what uh, LT1, something like that, or LX. Well, I, I don't know, you guys, I'm an idiot. All we know is a very fancy car. This is the rock that Trev uh, rolled on last time. You can see why he sheared his cage, because he came from up there, pivoted off that tree, right into there. Oh, in here. Don't worry, I'll pick that up later. I don't like cans in the middle of my driveway. <laughs> this is where I started to get scared. I'm out of there. If Trev's taught me anything, it's that I shouldn't stand over there. <laughs> this is the first time Cobb's been here. And he said, uh, first thing he said to me this morning is, Damn, these climbs look a lot bigger in person than they do on camera. That's some that was some fancy driving. You made me nervous. Spencer made it look easy. You're making it look hard. I know. <laughs> Part of his problem here, those are brand new 43s. So he uh, needs to break them in a bit and loosen them up.
get it. <laughs> so I know some of you guys are gonna ask, where's my rig? I, uh, I tweaked my back earlier in the week. So uh, instead of driving and filming, I'm only filming today. So uh, sorry about that, boys. You don't get to see much of my rig when I'm driving and filming anyways. Because uh, I only got so many hands. So Spencer's thinking about driving down there. As long as you don't drop off with the driver's side on this side, you'll be okay. But if you uh, slip off, it's gonna be bad times. He, uh, he rolled real hard last time. If you uh, didn't catch the last video when we were here. And he never made it up. So, uh, of course he doesn't really wanna do it. But guess what? Friends are at the top of the hill. <laughs> we can see all the uh, rock scrape right there. That's where he thundered his cage last time. As you can see, it's got new gussets in that bad boy. So these are only 40 inch traps, so he's got three inch less tire than those guys. Back to conquer his demons. Doing it. Oh, not too much that way. Nope. Oh, uh, you're back in the danger zone. Nice. Yeah, love those crests, love wood. Woo! Right in the drive. Oh man, that's terrifyingly steep and terrifyingly far up there. Close. You almost had it right up until the second you didn't. You're keeping the dust down in the driveway. That's nice. I didn't think that was gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty sure that was gonna happen. All right. Well, Spencer rolled real hard, and uh, we got it back over. And uh, well, now we get to the climb. I cleared this one a while ago. It was actually in a video, uh, one of my trail clearing videos. And then these guys looked at it and they're like, "Are you kidding?" But. Here we are giving it a go. And the hard thing about this climb is there's a big hole on the other side here before he makes the big climb. So, uh, I don't know. This might be impossible, but damn it, we're gonna try. Camera never does justice. This first climb is as tall as me. And then there's a way steep hole. And then that climb there is, uh, that ledge is eight feet on that side where his tire is. She wants to climb. Oh, he's doing it. It's brand new. No one's ever climbed here. Now what are you gonna do? <laughs> we didn't look any further because he didn't think he was gonna make it this far. <laughs> that was slow-mo so it's that steep i guess but he's just trying to figure it out see if he can uh, make this climb happen before everyone gets all pissy pants about us uh, driving in the bushes these are my bushes it's my yard so don't worry about the bushes we got lots of trees around here for all the stay on the trail crowd got to make the trail sometime this is not working out for Trev here though. All right, now we're, now we're running theoretical stuff. We're trying to go that way. So is this climb too big? We have no idea. <laughs> He's doing it. I can't believe he drove as hard as he did. I was figuring they'd be going up right here. Yes! So Spencer is uh, fighting over here. Yeah, head, head that, whoa, whoa. Kevin's doing things in the background here. So uh, yeah, I cut this trail a while ago. Isn't this what Sunday at your house looks like? Well, this is cool, you know, we've never driven over these rocks before. Really? 
The fact that you can even get that far is pretty mind blowing. <laughs> No, it doesn't get any better on this side either. You're going that way. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what his plan is now. That's stable. Well, that didn't count. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> oh. Jim was telling us he literally broke his steering unloading it off the trailer. So Jim's rig's already out. So it's uh, the janky car and the fancy cars. But uh, we're gonna take advantage of the dry rocks. There's some big climbs here. The last time I was filming, I was standing over on that side. So aside from this bush in the way, we'll try to uh, shoot from over here. anymore all right I was in the uh, danger zone last time standing over there so now I'm on this side I'm trying to pull this bush out in the middle of filming traps sure seem to climb easier so you can see how much dirt these guys move which changes everything on these trails so uh, it's amazing from one trip to the next how different everything gets. Shoveling some dirt down there in the back. I think he needs to hit the freedom lever and, and we'll hear the sound of his people. Gotta go up the hard side. making it up as we go here. We're not wheeling, we're doing yard work. I hate the moss. I think that one is doable behind you. Right there? That we climbed up here. Now he's gotta climb up over there. It's gonna be a great idea. I'm in danger. You dealt with the bees' nest. <laughs> Sorry, bees. That was a large rock you flung like way that way. It's making me feel more and more in danger. Feeling like I wish I was on that side. I'm over there. Be 
get on this ledge here with back tires. Listen to you voice of reason over there. You just don't want him to do it because then you have to do it. <laughs> I know, it looks like he's going to come this way. Like it looks like he's going to have to be a car width towards us, which is scary. You don't want to break a something on that. Yeah, the balance is hard on stuff. Yeah. Well then. Stop spinning in the front. Well, air tank, your clutch was slipping or popped out of gear, so. My clutch, maybe? Yeah. yeah. Mad. No, Dad, no. Yeah, you're spinning in again. First hit after stop, Cobb said he thought it was too steep. Yeah. <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> Damn. Yeah. That wasn't a crawling line though. That was a throttle line. Oh, it smells like clutch. Yeah. It's like burning diapers. Oh, just hot garbage. <laughs> you, you clutched her. Well, Cobb didn't want to do it, and he thought it was possible. And then Spencer did it. So, you know, she goes. Now we asked to do it. <laughs> I don't know how you drove up there. You hit the hopes and dreams button at the bottom. He's not gonna crawl it though. He's gotta use the yee yee button. <laughs> yes! Close. Not easy. Confirmed. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought that was it. Auto versus standard. Woo. <laughs> 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 so hopeful in his eyes. And then Wow! Well done. That's all she's got in that little six cylinder, eh? I bet if he had a Suzuki motor, he could make it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's so dirty. <laughs> oh, he broke something in the rear end. Portal box. So they do fail. What's that? Portal box or something. In the back, back driver. <laughs> he lost your rear. That was an expensive sound. It's locked up. At least this side is locked. Yeah, this tire is locked up. Passenger's spinning. Okay, so it is portal. It's the portal box on that side. So we got a broken fancy car. We're thinking it's the portal box driver's rear because it's all bound up. His other side's spinning. So uh, there's three gears in the uh, in the rotor essentially, and uh, we think they're just thundered. So it's all locked up on them. Now this is where stickies don't help us because we uh, we have to get them that way and he's facing the wrong way, dragging ass. We also don't really want to take that off out here. And now we got to uh, bushwhack Cobb out of here because we can't turn around. So I'm Pied Piper in in my shorts. So it uh, made a real bad crunchy sound and it broke free. I guess Cobb's done. Let's go find everyone else, see what the plan is. It's probably lunchtime. It's been a while since we've had a little trail barbecue, but uh, we're sitting around, have a little barbecue. And then we'll uh, see what's up next. Couldn't do it. Try third gear because I, I, I was running out of power. So I said, try third gear. third gear. The last two times, uh, yeah. Beauty Sunday with the boys at the yard. So far, we've killed not quite, fit, we've killed 40% of the rigs. So uh, we can keep going for a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, go left. Good idea.
He's doing it though. I like the metal dick on the portal box there. Yeah, subtle. That is, that's nice. That big one didn't move. Oh, he's moving it big time. Wow, they're both moving. What a bulldozer. That's reasonable. Sticky tire Kevin. What was that? You just do the do the drive shaft? You were really hard on it on that last climb up there. Now it's Kevin's turn to do the same thing. Who would have ever known a 30-year-old Toyota U joint wouldn't uh, be into it? Sticky tires, without even breaking it. Oh, and Jim wiped out. <laughs> Jim doesn't even drive and he can roll. You were totally in the background. <laughs> oh, Kevin's going over there. I don't know. He thinks he's a four wheel steer car though. He wants to embarrass the buggy guys apparently by doing it with leaf springs. <laughs> Jim shaking his head up there. Yes, turn this way. There you go. Wow. Well, damn, son. <laughs> I kind of figured I was going to slip down into that tree. I tried to stay home. Oh yeah, you're right in there now. You're going All right, so my back's a little sweet. Sean's going to run some saw for me. We're going to get uh, Kevin out of here. Dirty Jesus, the chainsaw doctor. A little chainsaw surgeon. Should have offered somebody else's saw. This looks like it's going to be hard on my chain. We chopped the tree out of the way. <laughs> and now he's got to solve his problems. Turn down. Uh-oh. Oh, it hasn't gone bad yet. Turn down. You might actually have this. Well done, Kevin. Damn. Spencer broke his rear drive shaft coming up this one. So uh, <laughs> we're breaking rigs left, right, and center. Crab walking it. Oh, I mean, guys, Spencer's such a pimp. He has a spare drive shaft. So he's not done. He just had to put a new drive shaft in. My man. I'm really proud of you for having a spare drive shaft. So here's this climb from below. This is where uh, Kevin just went up. I drove the bath maker up there last time. It's one of those things that doesn't really look like you should be able to drive up it in uh, such a turd mobile like I have. Yeah, that's a line. His best tire was a little flat this morning, so he had to put two PSI in it to go with the two that was already in it. This is gonna be a good season of rock crawling here. The, uh, the rigs are getting gnarly, and the trails are getting gnarly. So uh, I'm super stoked to see what everyone's driving up these days. I wish uh, the camera gave a better idea of scale, but you can see that that's a 50 inch rock he's trying to drive over right now. Halfway up a 45 degree slope. So uh, none of this stuff is easy anymore. But somehow they're doing it. Sick, Comanche. Yeah. 
Eli, he's trying to drive on the hardest stuff he can without rolling. Because if it's too easy, what's the point? Ow! Oh, you're moving that rock. Oh, it's all different now. That's where he uh, broke his drive shaft on the last run up. Oh, getting greedy. Getting greedy. He was worried for your safety, Spencer. Those traps are right in their prime right there. We're like a 35 year old man, just right in their prime. <laughs> he did it. Kevin's getting greedy. Do the V-notch. How many rocks in the bottom? It's not nearly as bad as when I tried to drive up there. dart on the far side of this here. <laughs> Not even. I like that Kevin watched all that and he's still going to try it. <laughs> but going that way is different than coming up this way. Uh -oh. Okay. Yeah. Something. Rear something. Nope. No drive. Rear output shaft. At least they're spinning smooth. Yeah, up to the left. They never see Toyota axles do that. Never see that. More of a samurai oh yeah. At least the axles I built are holding up. We got that going for it. So far. <laughs> well, we, uh, this is the only unbroken rig. And uh, of course he's got to uh, do this climb again. He, uh, he did this last time. First, uh, first licks on this one last time he was here. So you couldn't leave without doing it again. I think he's gonna stomp this here, no problem.
That was way easier than last time. My wheel was up there, I think. Yeah, he came up and over. You can see the tire track. You could go down over to the right, too. It's more steeper. Right? I don't know, I've never looked at it. <laughs> that must mean it's good. Exactly, just drive off it without us, either of us looking at it. I think you're gonna be great. Well, that's not so bad at all. That doesn't make any sense. Shaking my head back here. <laughs> He's just gonna go back down. <laughs> uh, literal go-kart. Good times with Spencer and the uh, the boys. Oh! Ah! I'm actually my second white boat today. Oh yeah, I'm a professional. Really good at wiping out. All right, well, we got rain on the lens. It's pouring rain, but it was, uh, we broke almost all the rigs. So it's time to get the hell out of here. Good day, rock crawling with the boys. We'll uh, get back to it soon, because the rain means that it's time to get the wheeling season back going. So let's uh, rally the boys together, and hopefully we'll do some wheeling. Team No Sticky style with, well, the sticky tire rigs, because everybody's buying stickies, except me. Cheers, boys. See you next Saturday.